So we're standing here in the installation of this exhibition called The uh, Last Testament. And uh, the project is basically about seven men worldwide who all claim to be the second coming of Christ. I mean, the Messiah as prophesized in the Bible. Um, you know, at the end of days, it's prophesied that uh, the Messiah will return to, to bring us into the kingdom of God and bring judgment day and so forth. Um, and these seven men claim to be the one who's come to do exactly this. Uh, so it's, it's quite a worldwide uh, um, search uh, for Jesus um, from Japan here to Siberia to South Africa and uh, the Philippines and all over the world. For, for me, this project really started because of a um, lifelong fascination with faith and religion. Um, um, I didn't grow up with uh, faith myself, but I've always sort of had this curiosity about, well, what is it really like to believe? What can you believe in? Um, and, and, and so basically this was an amazing opportunity for me to go, well, ask Jesus himself uh, <laughs> these questions, um, and talk to his disciples, and, um, and really see what the world looks like from, from that perspective. I mean, I mean, I was really struck by the power of belief. I mean, the, the power of the belief of the disciples who, who see this man, because uh, they are all men, um, as the whole and complete truth. You know, the thing is, you know, the more I started to dig into this, you know, the, the harder I, I thought it was to, to try, you know, some, some people would say that you know, what these people believe is, is madness, you know, uh, compared to established religion, right? But the more I was digging into this, you know, the harder I, it becomes to, to see these boundaries, you know. What is it that makes this belief, uh, per definition, less plausible than, than what's taught in the cathedral down the road? You know, um, who's to say that, that this is crazy, but to believe in, in, in sort of the established, accepted God is, is, is normal. Um, and, and when you dig into the theology of these people, you know, to my mind, it, it sort of makes just as much sense as any other belief. Um, but, you know, I was very moved by being in these situations with these disciples and this belief and kind of the beauty and, and rituals they create around this belief. It was a very powerful experience. Uh, yeah. So, you know, I, I've had a 20 year career as a documentary photographer, as a journalist, you know, but when I started this project, I decided to leave kind of the journalist in me behind. Um, so I didn't go into these situations um, asking critical questions or trying to figure out, you know, is he really the Messiah or not? You know, I wanted to go into each situation and uh, take everything they told me as the whole complete truth uh, and rather try to describe what does their world look like from that perspective. Um, and so in that sense, I let myself be used as a photographic uh, apostle, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm really telling their story maybe as they want it to be told, you know, um, and uh, I've actually had uh, letters from some of them saying that after the project uh, came into the world, people were writing them and uh, asking to, to, to join them even, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but, you know, for me it was important to, to uh, you know, to go in there and be open to their message and try to describe that uh, as accurately as, as possible and then rather let people judge themselves if they think it's uh, reasonable or seductive or crazy or, or whatever. Because, you know, one person's madness is another person's complete and utter truth. I mean, that is the way of any religion, any belief system. You know, to, to uh, practitioners of, of one established religion, the beliefs of, of the other one is unreasonable and untrue. But, you know, so it, it was important for me to, to not go in there 
in a judgmental way and rather try to, to, to let their own message speak for themselves. And that's why both in the exhibition and in the book uh, I reproduce some of their own scripture because they all write their own uh, Last Testament scripture um, and let people uh, absorb it and, and decide for themselves. I visited uh, Abkhazia back in uh, 2005. So, th so that was part of uh, a wider project because that was part of my first book uh, called Satellites, which was really about these undecided territories, these breakaway republics and sort of unrecognized republics and um, places that sort of after the collapse of the Soviet Union had not uh, settled in history, you could say. Uh, so it was part of, uh, it was one chapter of that project. Um, I mean, I, I think, uh, you, you know, I mean, when I was in Abkhazia, it made a big impression on me, you know, but for two reasons, you know, one is the spectacular nature, you know, I mean, it's really a, a pearl, right? I mean, it, it's with the mountains and the sea and the lushness. So it's really an amazing place. And on top of that, to see it's sort of really half abandoned, you know, all the abandoned buildings, you know, the, the sort of, uh, yeah, abandonment. Uh, it's, it's, it's kind of a very powerful mixture, you know, that I was very moved by that. So, so in the book, uh, you know, there's also a lot of text. Uh, there's uh, my own writing. I uh, write a little bit about my, about my own encounters uh, with the Messiahs and the disciples. And there's also a lot of their own text. Uh, so I think in the book you can, uh, you know, after seeing the exhibition, if you see the book, you can go kind of deeper into the revelation of each one and you can kind of compare them easily. Um, in each chapter, there's a whole section of this scripture and you can see sort of how the revelations of, of Jesus Matayoshi in Japan here compares to uh, Bissarion in Siberia. And you can see the similarities and the differences. Uh, and they all have um, sort of a, an approach that is slightly similar in the scriptures that relate, of course, back to uh, the established scriptures. You know, we know so well the two first chapters, right, of this uh, saga of man and God, you know, the Old Testament and the New Testament. And for them, this last piece of scripture is basically then the, the third and final chapter of this biblical saga, the Last Testament. Um, and that is, of course, where the title of the, the project comes from.